What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to learn Stone Temple Pilots creep uh, 90s. That's what we're doing right now. Anyway, thanks for supporting Marty Music, you guys. I appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell notification. Also, if you you know need more direction with your guitar playing, I've got great resources, especially at my site, martymusic.com. Check the links in the description below. Thanks again. Let's do it. All right, so we have an intro, which is a C major chord. To B7. And then E minor. But E minor 7 is definitely the acoustic voicing in there on this intro. And so if you just played a regular E minor, C, B7, E minor, perfectly fine. But you can hear this third fret B and third fret high E on that E minor chord on the left speaker, especially. So from the top of the intro, C, E7, E minor 7, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, again, C, B7, but now just let that E minor ring out into the verse. E minor, C, then B7, yeah. I'm playing this E minor, but it could be a regular E minor. Like I said, check it out. Works, works the same way. So that is the verse. Then uh, what I guess we call the, we'll call it the chorus, and then there's also like the rock riff. So the chorus is G. So it's, um, However you want to play G. I'm doing it that way because it matches up with that E minor in the song, right? So G, G, then A minor to E minor, however you want to play it. So, right before the riff, you'll hear it on the... E minor, but before the riff, it's... G, A minor, and then C, D, and then the riff. So plant your middle finger on the second fret of the A string and you're going to want an open E string and also that open D string so you don't want your middle finger to be blocking that open D string. Now look at my right hand, so just E, A, D, back to the E. And then I'm putting my index finger on the second fret, and the pattern though stays the same. So I get to go like that without having to change my positioning for the riff. And then you're gonna hit that E, which my finger's there. And then I'm gonna put my ring finger there, middle finger doesn't have to change, same pattern. And you're hitting that, and then it's open A to second fret. And then the same thing on the D string, which is the E minor pentatonic scale. Uh, you know, if 
from that. So the riff from the top. A little bit slower. That was pretty slow, but. And then you hit that E string. O2, O2, but it alternates the second time. Everything's the same, you get to that, but then you go O, one, two on the A string. So you put them together, it sounds like this. So you just want to be able to hop that middle finger back over. Just look for that. That's one little thing that you need there. All right, the good news, nothing new, no new parts to learn. Uh, there's a little kind of ambient bridge section that's just, just kind of plays over an E minor and then eventually back into And then obviously, and you got it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for your continued support. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And you know, of course, I appreciate you liking the video, subscribing here to Marty Music, you know, all the other stuff too. Hope to see you later.